Hello, uh, good morning, uh, or maybe good night, whatever, I can't fucking tell anymore, anyways. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry to wake you up like this, you're probably wondering how you got here. I won't beat around the bush, bad news, you are infected. It must have happened during the last testing cycle. The protocol should have been enough to prevent contagious exposure, but, well, maybe those were all bullshit, too. It, it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, the good news is that we caught it early enough to do something about it. See that TV in front of you? There's a key on top. Go pick it up. Okay, uh, good. You're still able to follow simple commands, and well, your legs still work. Uh, all good signs. Now for the harder part. We are going to have to give you a cognitive kick. Um, that should be enough to jumpstart your, your natural neural defense mechanisms. In, in normal circumstances, we'd be able to just recontextualize your inlaid traumas and, and reintroduce them as false memories through neural implanting, but that's not an option anymore. Uh, so I, uh, well, improvised. See those VHS tapes uh, locked up around you? Use that key to open up one. Uh, then just pop that bad boy into the VCR and, uh, well, well, okay, I can't really tell you that it won't work if I do. I just knew that I was fucking done. This was the last time. I drove four hours to Flagstaff. It wasn't much as far as plans go, but at least I was certain of it. Just keep my engine running and the wheel straight. That's all there was to it. I wouldn't turn around. Not this time. After that, figure it out. On my grave, nothing could get me to go back. Not this time. Not even the sky falling down. And then... Dead. Baka.
For what purpose have you awoken me and brought about the end of reality? to be the first human to be destroyed, yes? So that you are spared from the cataclysm I shall wreak upon all life. Eh? Wh what? Don't say it again, creep! And how are you looking directly at me without being driven mad? Send me back. I'll do it next time. M maybe when the stars realign in a thousand years or so. Exactly. Where'd you get that book? It's not a Necronomicon. What Necronomicon is bright pink, silly? It's a survival guide. For dating me. Mm-hmm. It's full of rituals that I like. cosmic entity beyond comprehension, so no amount of contact with me is safe for a human. Your mind could snap like a reed at any moment, actually. Oh, don't make that face. I can make it worth your while, if you understand what I'm getting at. If you can make it to the end, darling. But if you chicken out or go insane, I'll end reality right then and there. Now, you knew what you were getting into when you woke me up, right, darling? Excellent! Let's begin the date then. What? What's with a worried look, darling? But you aren't alone. I am here. Long-term health? The world ends when this date does. What does it matter if your mind is unraveling? Nobody is in this world for the long haul anymore. Well, you better finish them quickly then. you get to where my true form lies dreaming, the stronger my influence on you in this world. Just focus on following the book perfectly.
cute for a human before. Now you're totally my type. What are you looking at? Nothing, huh? You were looking at nothing? Is that the truth? <clears throat> Did I scare you, darling? Good. I know what page you were on. And if I see you trying to cast that spell about nothing, you won't get past the second word. Needs is a little something and it'll be perfect. Hmm. I'm going to take a short walk outside while you finish. See you in a few, love. A sheet. Ugh, I can tell by the look on your face. Guess you aren't as sane as you thought, huh, darling? Oh, sweetie, don't worry about reality. It doesn't have anything to do with you anymore. If you like, 
I could move you to the front of the line and end you painlessly. As thanks for waking me up, you wouldn't hear their screams anymore. Or maybe you'd prefer to be saved for last. Have the whole doomed world all for yourself for a while. Though the things you'd see if you lingered. Being destroyed first or last? Which would you prefer, my darling? to perform pledging yourself to me take heart your pledge of devotion will be the last act of humanity for all of time the final words ever spoken by humankind will come from your very mouth and echo into oblivion the privilege is yours alone I may be inexperienced with human emotions but even I know that saying goodbye to your world can be painful. Take all the time you need to make peace with the end. I'm going to take a short nap before I wake up for good. Could you hit the lights for me, darling? Thank you, my love. You did wonderfully. <laughs> I'm afraid it's time for the dream and our date to end. That look on your face. Darling, I had a wonderful date with you. And that's because of you. So why destroy me and all of reality? Why not just stay here with me? That's what you're thinking, right? Oh, my sweet... Mortal darling, I'm not doing this out of malice. You've had good dreams before, right? Well, when you woke up, you destroyed those dream worlds and everything in them. Did you wake up because you hated those dreams? No. It just couldn't be helped that you'd wake up eventually. I love humans, and I'll miss you sorely. Please let your last thoughts be about that. Don't think I forgot about my promise to you. Look her up, my darling. You've earned it. <laughs> darling, what's wrong? I get most. 
if he or me being just Darling, what are you looking at? Not is too good. And you are. down just 10 more to go glad you picked that one uh, one of my favorites for sure i'd send some compliments to the deranged mind that came up with it but these were all extracted from rounds 1 through 15 subjects so they they are long long dead well just like most everyone else i guess